Hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. This of course is another episode of How Much Money Would That Cost To Own It? <laughs> so, after I completed my Stolas Octavia Bad Nuggets and, and Angel Dust merch, I realized that uh, I wasted a lot of money. Not really wasted, I just spent a lot more than I thought. <laughs> so, that sounds like more of like a me issue, but... But then I got a little curious of, like, if you collected other characters, what merch would you be collecting? How much would that be? Would it be more than certain characters or lower than certain characters? So, I left it to you guys. <laughs> I put up four different characters for you guys to choose from. And you guys chose Sir Pentius as the character we're going to be dissecting the merch of. So, uh... <laughs> So, let the antics begin. <laughs> so first, a little background on Sir, Sir Pentius. He is a character in Has Been Hotel, featuring like a sort of like a minor antagonist, mainly the main antagonist being like Volt, Valentino, and Velvet and whatnot, the three Vs. But it looks like he's going to be having like a role in the hotel and whatnot. Seen as some of the, the clips that we've known about. I don't know what he'll be doing as the show is not out as of recording this. So we'll see. And he got a redesign, which looks like this. <laughs> so real quick, if you're going to be collecting any Hasbro Hotel or Hell of a Boss character, may I recommend you checking out the Shark Robot website. The Shark Robot website is the official site for all has been hotel and hell of a boss merch that way you know what you're getting is official high quality and you won't get scammed maybe just on shipping maybe you, you'll probably just get scammed on the shipping to be honest but uh <laughs> but that's pretty much it so make sure you always check the shock robot website before going to secondhand websites and whatnot for merch so that's where we're gonna start first <laughs> So on the Shark Robot website, there's only one thing left for Serpentius, and that is the standee of him. Now this is listed right now as Last Chance, so I recommend you get that now before he's gone, and then you have to pay like 70 bucks from a person on eBay. <laughs> Just saying. Better. <laughs> so after I calculate the numbers, that will be coming down to $28.61. But that is including my shipping and SMA attack, so the technical subtotal is $19.95. Now that we have the Shark Roll website taken out of the way, it's time to look at secondhand websites. Now, they're sketchy, I will not lie, especially eBay. Uh, just for any precaution, whether you be collecting these pins or whatnot, or like like anything else, make sure you're reading the description of these items, making sure you're looking at the price, make sure you're paying a fair price and whatnot, and always check your... Just always make sure to look at your stuff, you know? Look at the pictures, look at the description, look at the thing with the item and whatnot. Make sure... Maybe make sure the, the, the seller has a lot of nice reviews and whatnot. That way, they're, you know, you're, they're trustworthy. So, un unfortunately, there is... Apparently, fake pin of one of Serpentius's. I'm unable to find the what the fake looks like. It's still being researched, so we'll talk about it when we get to that pin. But anyway, we are going to start with the pins first, because why not? He doesn't really have anything else. I mean, there is a keychain, but we'll get to that at the very end because it's a little complicated. So first we're going to be covering one of the, the expensive ones, uh, depending on how you want to collect it, because it technically labels as a set pin. If you were lucky enough to get it during the pre-order, they did a pre-order of getting the plushies of Serpentius, Vaggy, and Husk, and if you got all three, you got bonus pins of each one of the head characters, as shown right here. So if you end up getting them during that time, that's absolutely great. But unfortunately, if you did not, you're going to have to go secondhand for these. And they can range between being like 30 bucks for just Serpentius to like 
$225 for all three. It all depends on how you want to collect it. If you just care about Serpentius, just get the Serpentius set. But if you want to have the set, then go for it. All right, next is this, the Chibi Serpentius pin. This was released back in November of 2021 alongside another Black Friday pin, the, the die struck one, which we'll talk about later. But we're going to be talking about the Chibi Gold full body one is what we're going to be discussing. That's it was on the website for the longest time, for like a year and a half. If you find them out in the wild, they're so cheap. It's it's like ridiculous. They, they, they range between like $10 and $13. It's so easy to find these. Yeah, because the ones I found were eleven forty and 12 were the ones were still available and whatnot. I didn't even find any that were sold. I want to say just like delete the listing right after they sell it. So pretty cheap pin to get. Probably going to be one of the cheapest, if not the die struck ones are probably going to be cheap. Because as the, the Black Friday ones didn't really sell that quickly. So you're going to find these really, really fast. <laughs> Next one is the Sword Pentius pin, and it is the portrait one. Now, this release is like a, like a set almost of a bunch of other portrait pins of the other characters, like Cherry Bomb, uh, Nifty. I think Vox was in there as well. Released on September of 2020. Now, because this was during the second wave, you could somewhat find them for a good deal. It's not really that much. You could it ranges between what I found was sixty. And seventy five dollars. So just make sure you're looking. Thank God this pin has not been faked because uh, um, it won't have been a lot. All right, next is the Sir Pentius Changing Portrait pin. This is one of like, the newer pins that was released for him. Released on Halloween of twenty twenty two, and it features the little changing portrait pin. Where if you look at it one side, it's Sir Pentius, on the other side is a different image of Sir Pentius and whatnot. So frankly, this. This finally sold out like this year around Halloween and whatnot after they discounted it again. So it's going to range a little bit between 20 and 25 is what I found. All right, next was the ever first pin for Sir Pentius, and that is his headshot one. Now, unfortunately, well, there's two good things about this. One, for some reason, you could find him really cheap. I guess people didn't really like him that much, or maybe they just over overmade so that's why you find them a lot cheaper on ebay and macari and whatnot but unfortunately bad news is that uh this is the pin that is rumored to have a fake in circulation unfortunately i could not find a picture of this for the life of me the what's the little excel spreadsheet that i was using for references for all this said that there was a fake and they were waiting on more information to come in so i'm just going to tell you right now if you suspect a pin is fake the best way to do it is, one, check the description. Uh, you can also message them to see. I don't think they'll ever admit that it's fake, but if you want to, you can message the seller and be like, is this an, like a real authentic pin, like official pin? But the best way is the backing cards. Because every, no matter how old that pin is, it always comes with a backing card and whatnot to basically prove it's official. So if it has a backing card, you it's 100% real. At least I hope so. Hopefully they didn't like something dumb, but the best way is the backing guard that comes with it. And then these basically range between thirteen dollars and twenty three forty five. Take that what you will. <laughs> the next one is the Phoebe Heart Collection of that has Serpentius featured in there, released during Black Friday of twenty twenty. Uh, this price is pretty fun at a decent price. Range between thirteen and thirty three dollars. You too can own this pin, and there was a lot that I found on there. So take what you will with that. All right, and the last official pin that we're going to be talking about, which I mentioned earlier, was the antique die struck released alongside the the gold full body pins of all the characters and whatnot during Black Friday. Uh, this pin also sat on the website for a long time. So yeah, you're going to find these a lot cheaper. The two that I found range between $8 and 13 Hopefully there's more out now. I mean, this is what I found during my research, so maybe there's more in circulation now. But we can only hope and pray. <laughs> all right, now that all the pins are accounted for, it is time to move on to a different category of merch, and that is plushies. 
Now, Serpentis only has one plushie, mentioned before with one of the other pins. If you were lucky enough during that time, there was a release of pre-order pins for... They had three different ones for Hell of a Boss and three different ones for Hasbro Hotel. And if you bought all three during the pre-order, you would get a exclusive pins and whatnot. So, but later on, they did release these the the plushie separately. So if you're lucky enough to get the Serpentious plushie when you did, uh, good on you. But uh, it's not in stock right now, unfortunately. But I did find one in circulation going for seventy dollars. I don't know if they'll ever like. Bring the plushie back. Maybe they'll do it for Black Friday this year. Who knows? But unfortunately, you're going to have to get it secondhand. Maybe wait a bit. If you know for sure it was like a last chance and he was never going to come back, then get it secondhand. But yeah. Also, just be aware with any plushies that you get, especially from eBay. Always look at the image because they they fake a lot of like there's a lot of fake plushies out there, especially for like Stolas and Alistair. They just do that to my guys. <laughs> All right, so we have one piece up. Sorry, <laughs> stupid fucking joke. We have one piece of merch left to talk about, which I've been avoiding for a little bit because uh, I don't know how to address it the right way. So the like the last one that I remembered from the spring merch drop was the Serpentious keychain. And just uh just bear me with me on this one. Now it retailed for $9.95, so if you were lucky enough to get it when it was first released, good on you. That was probably like the last real Serpentious thing that we got so far. So now doing merch search for this, but I pulled out that Excel spreadsheet that I was pulling all these like numbers and release dates from. Apparently I don't know how legit it is, so just take what I say with a grain of salt. Uh, I discovered that it was pulled from the Shark Boba website way before the Stark like gave out on it. So before fans bought all the merch, like all the stock, and then they're just be no longer available. Um, so there's some speculation that the design that they used on the keychain was his newer design, and they were not supposed to release that yet, so they pulled it. So I guess if you're lucky enough to get it, it, that might be. I looked at these images for a while and whatnot, but I cannot tell if it's supposed to be the older design or the redesign of him. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna put the the keychain right here. You let me know if you think it's the old design or the redesign. Like there's some like light gray which makes me think it's the redesign. But if you look at some of the other key, like the other keychains of the characters. Some of them are a little altered of their colors, so I don't know. Honestly, like if you look at the tail, it has a lot more eyes and whatnot, whereas his newer design only has one row of eyes. So I'm thinking of the old one. I don't know. Shark Robot never really addressed it, or I don't think Visby ever addressed why it was pulled so easily. But I don't know. If you're lucky enough, I guess you got like something that wasn't supposed to be released yet, so that's pretty cool for you. <laughs> All right, so I calculated all the ranges <laughs> for this. So I did all the low numbers on one and all the high numbers on another one. So what this is going to uh, roughly cost, give or take, is going to be, and I quote, $256.13 in the low end or $507.36 in the high end. Now you might find these prices a bit like lower for some, maybe higher for some and whatnot. This is just what I found on Makari and whatnot. So I recommend just, just always keep a lookout for these. That's probably the best way you can probably get some of these pins and whatnot. Is that on eBay and Makari, just have Hasbin Hotel and also Helwabase because scalpers don't know how to use tags properly of what show goes with what. So always have both open for them. Sometimes they, they cross and whatnot. So yeah, always have like a safe search and whatnot of of those. That way you just just check like like daily or like like somewhat and you see all the new stuff and maybe you'll get lucky in their surprise stuff. 
I mean, I remember seeing it on the has been hotel uh, search on Macari a lot when I was trying to find stuff for Angel Dust and whatnot. So, I mean, it does work. I mean, that's how I got a lot of my second pins and whatnot. Also, I recommend you following the Z Pop both on Twitter and on Instagram and also the Helloverse page as well for merch updates and whatnot. And also her channel because they would do merch releases and they make videos about it and whatnot. So that way you can be up to date on newer merch when it comes out. And also if they have a special announcement of bringing back some old stuff, you're informed, you know. Or if anything's on last chance or something gets discounted that you're looking for, I recommend following the Twitter and, and the busy pop on it on YouTube. So I recommend it. I'll have them in linked in the description and whatnot. So definitely. Go support the originals. Go support them with the merch if you can. I know scalpers can be a pain, so. <laughs> but uh, I guess that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed doing this. And also, sorry if I was a bit off. I have a raging headache right now, but I really wanted to film. <laughs> but uh, thank you for watching. I really had a lot of fun, because um, I don't really look at some of these characters a lot and whatnot, so... It, it looked pretty cool to me going into Serpentius's merch and whatnot. Now, I know he has playmats and whatnot, but they're, they're no longer really on the website. If there are, then go ahead and get them if you want to. Shirts, go ahead and get them if you want to. For some reason, there isn't a Serpentius filter tag. I don't know why I didn't make the website, but... But if you see any playmats that you wanted to get on the on the wild one, make sure you're getting them for a fair price. People jack them up to like a hundred dollars when they're really worth like twenty or twenty or like thirty five. So just be aware of that. But thank you for watching. If you guys have any recommendations of what character I should look into the merch for, uh, have it linked down below. Like not linked. <laughs> Comment down below of what character you think I should do next, and I'll I'll leave it up to a poll on my um my community tab for next time. Maybe we'll do nifty. Maybe Stella. Maybe Stryker. Who knows? Maybe Sally Mae. Sally Mae seems interesting. But uh, my name is Phoenix. Thank you guys for joining me on this journey. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye. -bye.